everyone. Today we're going to be doing a hairstyle that we first saw on my friend Mindy's channel from Cute Girls Hairstyles. And we're just going to be doing a slight variation of it. Hers was called the Subtle Bow. And if you haven't been to her channel, you should go check it out. But to begin this one, we're just grabbing a section here on the side of her head. I've just made a part here on the side and then I'm grabbing a section underneath it. And I'm going to split that into two strands. I'm going to have her hold this one for just a minute while I get this other one parted out. So you just want two strands that run along the length of that side part. So after you get those two strands parted out, you're just going to braid each of those. And to begin with, I am going to spray these down with a little bit of water so that we don't have flyaways. And then you can really do any type of braids you would like. We're just going to do a regular three strand braid and keep this simple. So when you get down to the bottom, you can just tie it off with a clear rubber band. So same thing with this other strand. I'm just going to make a regular three strand braid all the way down to the bottom. So after you get those two strands braided, you're ready to make the bow. And you're going to do this sort of like you would tying a shoe, but normally when you tie a shoe, you would cross these two strands, bring one up through the middle and pull it like that. I'm not going to start it that way because it doesn't seem to lay right with these braids and it takes up a lot of length. So if you don't have super long hair, it's not going to work. But what I'm going to do is just continue with the bow like you would tying a shoe, just don't do that first part. So I'm making the little loop here on one side. I'm bringing the other braid around just like you would while tying your shoe and then I'm pulling it tight. And then you want to arrange this how you want it before you bobby pin it. So if you need to loosen it up or tighten it up, fix these little strands that are hanging on the bottom, do what you need to do. And then you are ready to bobby pin it. And you wanna place a bobby pin just right here in the middle to hold it tight. So I'm bringing one in from the top, just right underneath that middle piece, I'm pushing it down. And then I'm going to bring in one more from the other side and cross it over that first bobby pin and that should hold it pretty securely. And these bobby pins will show up a little bit. You can kind of try and hide them by these ends, but I don't think it's a problem to have them showing. But that is the finished style. I think it's pretty cute. If you wanted to do one in the back of her head like Mindy did, you can do that as well just by bringing the two braids around to the back, but you are going to need longer hair to do that. We tried it on her hair and the ends ended up being only a couple of inches. And so we opted to do one on the side. But you'll just have to adjust the style for the type of hair you're working with. 